So, so Governor, it, it is very good to, to have you here. And as you heard, you are one of the smartest uh, sports minds in the country. <laughs> and so that really leads me to ask the question that I think is on everyone else's minds. How could someone that smart agree to box Evander Holyfield next month? Can you explain <laughs> how that came about? Uh, actually, as you know, that's for a, a charity. And uh, uh, I figure I can take on anybody as long as Candy Crowley isn't the referee. <laughs> and, uh, and so... <laughs> It's, it's, I'll tell you quickly, he was, uh, he's been most generous. He said, look, you can, you can throw anything you like at me. He <laughs> said, throw every punch as hard as you want, as fast as you can. And he said, you won't ever touch me. <laughs> he said, I've, I've boxed people like you before. I just brush them off, just brush them off. So uh, I will do that. The, the thing that worries me is that one punch will somehow get through and he'll get mad. That, that worries me, but, but I'm, I'm looking forward See, to that. See, I'm not worried that you'll touch him. That's not yeah, where my yeah. fear is. Yeah. Uh, I just want to read to you a quote. This is from Evander Holyfield. Quote, I had my ear chewed off and spat on the ground in front of me. I've seen everything it is possible to see in boxing. I know this business better than anyone, so I live and die by my dis own decisions. That, that's the man who's going to be punching at you. <laughs> <laughs> He'll pull his punches, I sure hope. That's for sure. <laughs> Well, I, I hope this is not the last time we get the, the handsome visage yeah, of yeah, uh, Omni on, on, on camera. So... I'll be pulling, you know, you can't hit below the belt. My belt will be way. 